Hi everyone, and welcome to my JR Yamanote line tour series in which I will be visiting and introducing my recommendations for each station on the JR Yamanote line one by one at random. The Yamanote line is a circular track connecting Tokyo's major city centers. There are now 30 stations on this line, with the newest being added in 2020. The station we will be exploring today is Nippori Eki, Nippori Station. After arriving at Nippori Station, we will be getting out through the north gate, west exit towards the Yanaka area. Here are the adorable little stamps that you can collect, which are unique to each station. There are many graveyards in this area, and I happen to come on Keiro no Hi, which is a national holiday called Respect for the Aged Day. So there was a little bit more people than usual who came with their families, and many of the shops were selling flowers to leave as offerings at the grave. First, I am headed toward one of my favorite cafes in the area. It is a few minutes from the station and I wanted to show the long street leading up to the cafe since it is so fun just to walk along the street and see all of the different little shops. While walking, I found this secondhand slash vintage bookstore called Same no Ha that had such a nice entrance so I had to take a look. They even had a variety of books in English as well. We have arrived at the cafe. The first floor is actually a little shop called Kokon that sells very beautiful handmade tableware and other interior goods. The cafe is on the second floor and that is the reason that it is called Kisa Nikai since Kisa means cafe and Nikai means second floor. The menu had a variety of both savory and sweet items and while they are famous for their french toast, my friend and I hadn't had lunch yet so we went with savory. We also each ordered a float. My friend got the Nikai float which was amune soda with yogurt ice cream and I got the raspberry soda with milk ice cream. We ordered the corned beef set which came with pickled vegetables and soup. This was so delicious. The raw egg is the perfect topping and I always have to get this when I come here. Now we are going to head to the main popular area called Yanaka Ginza. This area is very famous with the locals for its old town nostalgic vibes and can be quite lively on the weekend. This shopping street has been around since the 1950s and there are over 60 different small and locally owned shops, cafes, and food stalls along the 175 meter street. This is a restaurant and shop called Zakuro and I've actually been so curious about it but haven't gotten the chance to visit yet. It is a very colorful restaurant that serves Turkish, Uzbek, and Persian cuisine while you enjoy watching belly dancing performances. Here 
easy shop where you can make your own adorable customized hanko, which is a personal stamp to use in place of a signature on documents. This area isn't the biggest tourist attraction and there are usually more locals, there are still some shops where you might be able to find some nice little souvenirs or knickknacks. This shop called Nikuno Suzuki has been around for 88 years now and is very famous for their Minchikatsu, which is a ground meat cutlet. It is so cheap and just the perfect little snack. I definitely recommend trying it if you're ever in Yanaka Ginza. This new shop called Hakodo, which specializes in serving fermented foods and drinks. They have vinegar soda, shaved ice, amazake, and more. But I decided to try one of their yaki onigiri or grilled rice balls. I chose the shiomama, which is salt with rice malt and Japanese pickled cucumber. It was really really delicious and they also gave me some tea since it was quite hot. Afterwards, I just walked around up and down the street looking at all of the different shops. back near the station and I couldn't help smiling when I saw all of the families gathered at the bridge to watch the trains. There are so many both young and adult fans of trains in Japan so oftentimes you'll see people waiting around for the trains to pass. I also wanted to quickly show the east exit side of Nippori station. This side has more commercial buildings and shops and connects to larger streets as well. If you walk just a few minutes from the east exit, you will be reaching the Nippori Fabric Town where you will be able to find all sorts of shops that sell different kinds of fabrics and buttons and beads, accessories, and sewing equipment. It is the place to go if you're interested in making your own handcrafted clothing and such and I've been here a few times with my friends who enjoy it and honestly it's so much fun just to look around. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the very first video in my new series. 
I am really looking forward to introducing more stations along the Yamanote line, both popular stops as well as the lesser known ones. It might take quite a bit of time since there are 30 stations, but if you have any suggestions or requests, please let me know.